I'm going to talk about exergonic versus endergonic uh, reaction diagrams. So you may recall these. They're the diagrams where on one axis we have delta G. And on the other axis, we have reaction progress or time. Okay, so it's the same axis for both of these graphs. Uh, so you might sometimes see a reaction like this. If the reaction looks like this, we know that the delta G was lower in the reactants than in the products. So if we have delta G lower in the reactants than in the products, then that means it's an endergonic reaction. So our change in delta G, oop, I drew that up too high. There we go. So it would be our total change in delta G is there. And you can see that we're using delta G. So we're stealing, we're stealing Gibbs free energy um, from you know the universe. Uh, so we could also get a reaction that looks like this. And now in this case, the difference between our reactants and our products is here. And so we are giving off delta G uh, to the universe. So this would be an exergonic reaction. Okay, so we're releasing energy um, in this case. So if we're just thinking about this from the perspective of the reaction, then this one's gonna be negative delta G for the reaction and this one's going to be positive delta G um, just for the reaction because it requires uh, Gibbs free energy. Another thing that you want to know about these diagrams is that energy of activation. And the energy of activation is going to be the delta G between the reactants and the highest part of the reaction. So this is delta G of activation. So that's how much energy you need to put in to make this reaction start to go forward. So that's for this one here. It's just this amount. This one's a lot smaller. And this is the part that an enzyme can lower. So an enzyme or any other catalyst can lower this, can lower um, this number. So the delta G of activation. All right, uh, one more thing that was asked about this is which of these are hydrolysis and which are dehydration. So just for thinking about biomolecules, a dehydration reaction, that's going to um, be a buildup reaction. So that means this is anabolic. That means that it's going to use energy. We're going from simple to complex. And so that's gonna mean that it's an endergonic reaction. Okay, um, a hydrolysis reaction. This is a breakdown reaction. Okay. This is going to be catabolic reaction or part of catabolic, cat, cat, catabolic metabolism. It's going to release energy. And we're going from complex to simple. So that means it's going to be an exergonic reaction. It's going to give off energy. Okay, so that's basically everything we covered about um, these energy diagrams.